Welcome to 5minutetutorials.com. This is the Adobe Illustrator Pathfinder palette and in this tutorial we'll work specifically with the pathfinders inside the Pathfinder palette. If you don't know how to find this palette, it's under your menu bar window and then Pathfinder or Shift Control F9. The pathfinders are similar to the shape modes except they achieve a few different things here. The first one is called Divide and when you click and select both of them and you click the Divide, you notice now Initially, it seems like nothing happened, but if you check up here in your preferences, you notice that we did have a group created, so I can double click and enter the group, and then now I've got uh, a, a variety of shapes. I've got uh, this green shape, I've got the portion that was not overlapping, and I've got my center shape there. So what that did is that actually grouped all three of those. I'm going to do Command Z several times to undo and exit back out of my path here and now we, we're back to our original position. So that divides the shapes into three equal groups. Okay. This next one is going to now trim. So I'm going to select both of them and click trim and you'll notice now once again we do have a group. We kept both shapes though. Remember in the shape modes typically one of the two shapes was eliminated unless you held down the alt key which created a compound shape meaning two shapes but still one of the compound shapes remained completely transparent. No shape uh, color and no outline color. Now this trim here if I go inside of there is different in that it trimmed. There is no overlapping shape. That's the difference between the divide and the trim here. This created two shapes instead of three. So I'm going to exit back out here. Make sure I, I have my two initial shapes back which I do. I'm going to select both of them once again. This next one is called merge and that merges them together. So I double click to enter this group and I move and you notice that now they both are in fact trimmed but they were merged together and grouped. Okay, It's a little bit different, a little bit more uh, advanced uh, as far as most of your concern. You may not uh, need the, the difference between merge or trim uh, until much uh, later on. So, but just know that they're going to be very similar on the on the surface. Next one is called crop, and what we do is when we click crop, it actually crops everything, leaving only the foreground shape. Next one here is outline, so it removes, it merges both of them, and removes the color, leaving only the outline shapes there. And then the last one is minus the back. Okay, so it removes the back shape there. So whatever that back shape is, it's going to remove it. Now the Pathfinder, when you first start working with this, might be a little bit more odd or advanced to work with. You may not have immediate uses for it, but it is a very powerful tool. I do recommend strongly using the Divide and the Trim at first, along with your four original shape modes. This has been another tutorial by 5MinuteTutorials.com, and as always, the best compliment you can always give us is by sharing this with all your friends. Thank you.